What's good, Polly? Gay, 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 gay. It's your boy, KC. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing another video reaction for y'all. And this time, this is another training video reaction. This time is giving people a car if they can fix it. So you already know, this is a channel where I react to any and every single video, any and everything, y'all. No matter what it is. I'm going to react to it, especially training videos. But anyway, y'all, I ain't never seen this video before. I don't even know the people of this channel. I, I forget what the name is. It's called, like, Donut Something. That's their name, Donut Something. But anyway, y'all, I'm interested. This seems like a fun little video by the, by the name of the title. So let's just jump into it. We just bought this 2004 Nissan 350Z. Ooh. It's a beautiful car, but Yo. there's just one problem. My first car was a 2004 Nissan Altima. So I know that th that 350Z is nice. I low-key always wanted like a 350Z or a 370Z, but, you know, I, I never got one. But I got a car that's, in my opinion, a little bit better than that. But I always wanted just a drive one just to see how they drive, you know? It doesn't run. <clears throat> This it is Vin. Run. He's one of our actual subscribers. Now, he's never seen this car before, but if he can get it to start in the next two hours, he can keep it. We are down to the wire, ladies and gents. The wire! <laughs> Along the way, we'll talk you through what's going on in Vin's head so that you can learn how to think like a mechanic and have the skills to take on a problem like this yourself. What's gonna happen? Will he be able to fix it? I don't know. Let's find out. Vin, are you ready? To fix the car! I'm ready. Hey, I wanna be able Start to fix it. I'm gonna be honest with you, I wanna be able to fix it. I ain't never worked on a car a day in my life. I have put stuff into a car before. Crazy thing is, I have never changed a tire. I need to learn how to change a tire. That's one thing I do need to do. But I, I put um, oil in my car, I changed my oil before. And I also changed, what's that thing called? You know, the power steering fluid, y'all? I had changed my power steering fluid on my, it's actually my 2004 Nissan Altima. That's the reason why I don't got that car anymore, because the power steering fluid started messing up on me. So my wheel, I couldn't turn my wheel. It was just, like, stiff. And, I mean, if you can't turn your wheel, then you can't drive a car. So, hey, that's what happened on happened with me. Because the thing is, it would leak from the bottom of my car. Anytime I put the power steering fluid in there, it'll last for, like, two or three days. Because it was just leaking when I was driving. So, yeah, it had a leak in my car. But, hey, I, kudos to this dude if he could fix it. Because, boy, I wouldn't know what to do. Bobby be confused out my mind. No crank. Seems like battery's good. Now, to be clear, this car ran just fine when we bought it. We took it on a test drive and everything. But we've taken it upon ourselves to sabotage it in a handful of ways. But we are nice guys, and everything Vin needs is in this garage. If he asks us for the right part, we'll give it to him. But if he asks for the wrong part, we're going to take some time off that clock. <laughs> You got a, a flashlight. Flashlight on it. Well, that was quick. <laughs> <laughs> what were you fiddling around with down there? Uh, I was checking the clutch safety switch. When you park a manual car, you don't have a park like you do in an automatic. So you either leave it in neutral and set the e-brake or leave it in gear. The problem with that is that when you go to start the car, if you don't have the clutch in, then you would lurch forward if the car is in gear. So to avoid that, there's a neutral safety switch so that you have to have the clutch pushed in to be able to start the car. He sussed that out super quick because everything seemed to be working, but the car wouldn't crank. So he just reached up there and pushed the button, and the car cranks. Went underneath and noticed that it's missing some of the, the linkage to push on the button. Would you like the replacement parts to fix that? Sure, yeah. All right, let's do it. Cool. Welcome to my parts trunk. Good on him. That was actually pretty smart. All right, let's check it out. First sabotage down, clutch safety switch. So, he figured out the first thing. We gave him the replacement parts. It's been a whopping 11 minutes and 28 seconds. Hey. Okay, so already, I'm so little... far, y'all, I'm liking this video. I like how they break things down to you. I feel, I feel like I'm learning some new stuff right now. I love the visuals because I'm a visual learner. So, like, the way they have showed how the clutch safety thing and stuff like that, how that worked with manual cars versus automatic cars, I really like that. I'm nervous because one of our heater sabotages was the clutch switch. Yeah, the neutral safety switch. But there's more to this. We did a lot of stuff to this. What's your thought process now, Vin? Well, it takes three things to start, right? Air, fuel, and spark. 
air, fuel, and spark. Let's break that down real quick. Now, an engine needs to be fed all three of these ingredients in order to work. Now, this is an oversimplification, but you need a mixture of air and fuel because gas can't burn without oxygen, and you need a spark because it's the catalyst that sets off the combustion process itself. Now, when you have an engine that won't run, diagnosing the problem is as simple as tracing each of these components back to their source to make sure there's nothing stopping them from getting to the engine. I'm sure we got air, but you know, I'll pop the filter box just to make sure it's not completely clogged up or something. All right, well, we've got an hour, 49 minutes. Jeez, they taped that up. <laughs> That's weird, how'd that happen? Yeah, like a very casual, was like, sure we have air, but I'll check just <laughs> I was like, did you bug the garage? Yeah, yeah, the he literally described a bunch of crap in there. Like we pitched it oh. in the meeting. We were like, oh, we'll shove a bunch of crap in there. <laughs> He's going way too fast. We're 20 minutes in, Ben's already found sabotage number two and fixed it. But that- Hey, Ben's good, man. That's not he all we did. Stuff. Yeah, we did more stuff. It's still not starting. So far, we made sure we got airflow, and now we're okay. gonna move on to the spark and fuel. Every time he picks that flashlight up, I get nervous. I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna find it. I think I'm gonna go underneath and take a quick look at the crank sensor. If I was to assume that both of them are out, the common denominator between the two is that crank sensor. If that crank sensor is out, the computer is not gonna send out any spark or fuel. You got a jack? Yeah. <laughs> uh, looks good. Did you find it? Uh, there was a sensor on the bell housing. So I'm gonna assume that was it. Nothing on the front side. I'm starting to get a little nervous that he might not fix the car at all because he diagnosed one of the things that we did to it, checked it, and thinks it looks good. He had the right logic, but he got tricked by the layout of the car. Which happens when you diagnose stuff though, right? You kind of check certain things off the list, even though it shouldn't have been checked, yeah. and that kind of puts you back. Well, what's next? Looking for a way to access spark and fuel. It's real tight. I'm looking for a service port on your fuel rail. Yeah, sometimes there's like a little Schrader valve type thing where you can tap into a fuel rail without having to take anything apart. Can I pull my phone out? Can I do a Google search? All right, so Ben just asked if he could use Google and I'm feeling generous. So I'm gonna let you use Google for 10 minutes. All right. But you have to give up 20 minutes off the clock. Ooh. Drive a hard bargain, Jimmy P. <laughs> can I use it later? No nope. need? No, you can only use it right now. Wow. Oh, wow. I'll pass. All right, pass. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing, Evan? I am uh, disconnecting the fuel rail because I couldn't find a service port. Uh, you know, you need fuel pressure to squirt fuel into the engine to make it run. So he's going to make sure that he has some. Yo, I really hope Ben gets this car, y'all. I really do. I'm, I'm rooting for him right now. I, I should have had a nice amount of fuel shoot up on that crank. So it seems you don't have fuel? Yeah, that's correct. Well, now what? I'm gonna check fuses and relays for the fuel pump. Mm -hmm. And those are good, then I need to access the fuel pump. Yeah. All right. So uh, I think Vin is starting to feel a little discouraged. Wait, he's still got an hour, nine minutes left, so we'll see. It's been about a half hour. Yeah, I was about to say, it's almost been an hour. hour. I am still concerned about the crank position sensor thing, though. He's got to get back to that. I don't know why I feel so stuck. You know, there's a lot of people, a lot of eyes on you. You might want a car. I don't envy <laughs> him right now. A lot of pressure. You know, coming from like the professional world, you don't see nobody. You got a whole bunch of homies to your left and right. You know what I mean? We don't like to work under pressure. So this whole atmosphere has just got me running down the wrong rabbit hole. Like, okay, what am I doing? I'm overthinking things. It's simple, right? I know what I need to test, but I don't know the location of it. And that's why- That must be his wife. You want to take time yeah. away. And it yeah. worries me. All right, where's James at? I'm gonna negotiate. I've been told that Vin wants to negotiate. Yes, so I am feeling generous. I will give you five minutes on Google for 10, 10 minutes, minutes off, off the clock. clock or 10 minutes on Google for 20 minutes on the clock. <laughs> five minutes, five minutes. All right, all right, let's, let's do this. Get this man a laptop! In yeah. three, three, two, one, Google. 
I don't know if I should ask him what he's doing because I don't want to distract him, but uh, what are you Googling? <laughs> I'm going to Google up uh, the fuel pump. So right now you're just looking for the location of... Maybe another fuse box, yeah. All in time. Three minutes of Google remaining. Seven, Seven six, six, five, four, three, three two, two, one. Put it away! Put your phone Oosh. away, bro. Time. 48.07 remaining on the clock. Was it worth it? No. So what's the game plan? What are we gonna do now? I'm gonna ponder. I feel like I might be overthinking. I came in, you know what I mean, knowing that that's a good possibility. I'm going home empty handed just with a bunch of good laughs, good memories and you know, meeting the crew. Luckily, it's time for the carparts.com clue, brought to you by carparts.com, the smarter way to shop for auto parts. Carparts.com connects you with the right part at the oh. right price. Now I'm over here watching this. This is an ad. What in the world? I didn't verify voltage or not. I just say, pump. What I would love to, you know, I would love to shotgun a fuel pump. What does shotgun a fuel pump mean? That yeah, means I didn't verify that? voltage or not. I just say, I think it's a fuel pump, but that could cost me time that I don't have. If he asks us for the wrong part, we're gonna take some time off that clock. Why not? The shotgun a fuel pump, why not? Shotgun a fuel pump! Shoot some parts out I like this sound of that. <laughs> do we have a fuel pump in the parts trunk? You know what? We do. Oh, it's for a 350. It's interesting. So he's behind the driver's seat right now, uh, working on replacing that pump. We're thinking to be blast through this. It's gonna take like 20 minutes, uh, leaving him with 20 minutes on the clock. Oh, man. And there's still more stuff wrong with it. <laughs> nah, this is really tight. It is a little bit of a cramped space. It but, sucks, uh, it's not fun. <laughs> and we're caught on something. I don't want to make a big mess. Right now, that 10 minutes that he gave up to Google, that could be make or break. Yep, could use that for that. Oh, is it done? Now, with a working fuel pump and a working car, when you turn the key on, you hear a pump. You hear it? I don't hear it. I don't hear it either. Connector's connected. Oh, sorry. Oh, now I heard it. Yeah, she's running, she's, she's running. running. She's pumping juice. All right. Okay, so Vin was diagnosing the fuel system. There was no fuel pressure in the fuel rail. So he was logically working his way back from the fuel rail. And there's a handful of things in it that need to be in order, like the fuse and the fuel pump relay. Uh, and so normally when you're diagnosing, you would check those things first because they're usually easier to get to, easier to replace and cheaper to replace. But the problem is that's not what we messed with. So he was honestly kind of hindered by his knowledge because he's going through the logical things that would actually break in the real world probably first and what you would want to check first before you replace the expensive part of the system which is the fuel pump Attention! 30 minutes left 30 I like that minutes. see i like i like how he broke that down to us because i was just like is what he was ben was looking for is that what needed to be fixed and he just couldn't find it but then you realize that what he was looking for is not what they had messed up what they had messed up was actually the fuel pump Ben ended up finding that as a thing that they had messed up and then he ended up switching it out but yeah i hope he like i said he has almost 30 minutes on the clock so i think he should be able to get that last part the thing is he had went underneath the hood like underneath the car to check for that thing that he needs to find and uh he just couldn't find it so let's see if he's able to get it done Thank you. you may have noticed still didn't start what are we gonna do now Come on. You got air, you got Come gas. On, what else does an engine need to be able to start? Well, spark. so I'm sitting here thinking, right, if we're not having any spark, we have to ask what controls the spark. You know what? If you had watched the uh, first season of High Love, you would know what the problem is. 
problem you're facing now, we have. Oh, you know what? I'm feeling generous. I want him to win this car. I'm gonna pull up the episode of High Low, season one, where we're having this issue on our road trip. You get to scrub through it and find it. All right, here's your viewing area. There's your YouTube. Scrub on through. We'll just be right here. Yeah, yeah we yeah, like yeah, this show. Mm -hmm. I don't have time to watch this whole thing. Huh? No. Oh, no, but you gotta watch the intro. It's really good. <laughs> uh oh, an ad. Ah! Skip, skip, skip. Alright. Okay. Oh, there's Felipe. Oh, he's f that started. <laughs> How many times have you guys watched this one? Twice. I've watched it like five times. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hmm, what's going on there? Hmm. So we've got a, a crank position sensor code. So I checked the wiring to the aftermarket. Peaks definitely good. But Are you just entertained? Or? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was seeing the location because uh, I obviously found the wrong thing. Yeah, and I'm not familiar with the car. Yeah. So I wanted to see if you actually show where the location of the sensor is. Is it worth the scrubbing? It is. As always, a donut go. media video may have saved someone's life. We got 24 minutes, 23 minutes on the clock. We're jacking the car up again. He's searching for that crank position sensor. Believe me, I know exactly where it is. We are down fight. to the wire, ladies and gents. The wire! Now let's go! Ben's going to find yeah. it, too. Would yep. you have to have a crankshaft position sensor in that truck? I think I might. Went to the parts trunk and got a brand new crankshaft position sensor. New crank position sensor going in. Is this the last thing? Hopefully, because we got about 20 minutes left to get this car on the ground and start it up. It wasn't unplugged, so I assumed that I was fine. And without a scan tool for me to verify, I just kind of assumed. It and here is what came out versus the new one. Is the sensor on? Yeah. Sensor officially on. Sensor officially on. 19 minutes, 37 seconds left. Thank you. Recap. So we got all the crap out of the intake. We swapped the fuel pump. We got a new crank position sensor in there. We got the new clutch safety switch. I don't know, is it gonna start? Only one way to find out. There's only one way to find out. That's right, let's see if this boy starts. Only one thing left to do, man. It's time to start maybe your car. Start maybe your car. You know once he gets into the car, it's gonna start. Yep. That sounds like she starts, baby! Ben, how do you feel about your brand new 2004 Nissan 350Z? You've been on the top of mountains and in the deepest valleys. You started out super strong. You, you got- I mean, if you think about it, like, <laughs> the funniest thing to me is that, like, you got Mr. Beast and some of these other YouTubers, like Steven Shapiro. Oh, gosh, the other Juan. There we go, Juan. That's his name. Oh, that was epic. And you got some of these other YouTubers giving out free cars and free vehicles to people. <laughs> and then this guy, like, he worked for it. And I think earning something is probably even more valuable than just winning something. I feel like once you earn it, you're just like, yeah, I did that. You got down in Mordor, but you know what? We're all friends now, and your friends came in clutch. You yep. fixed this car, you got it started. You've got 17 minutes left. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video and everything else on Donut. Hit that subscribe button, not only so you don't miss any shows, but we really choose subscribers to come work on cars and win them. So hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, donutmedia.com to get some fresh drip. This is new. You can buy it now. Uh, I love you. Well, all right, y'all. That's the end of this video. YouTube channel is called what? Donut something? It's called um, Donut Media. First time hearing of them. I like the video. It was a solid video, y'all. I should definitely go check them out if y'all are interested in cars or you know, you guys don't know how to fix a car. And they show you maybe how to fix something or they show you something that you didn't know about. Definitely check them out. Anyway, on that note, it's your boy, KC and Paul Lee. Gang, 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 gang. Yo, we out.